Hello friends, this is Raj Sastri from Raj Auction Trading. Today is May 21st, 2023. Hope you're all doing well. In today's segment, we will take a look at how to roll, when to roll your options. Look, market is uh, really going up of late here. S&P 500 going up as you can see here. Uh, NASDAQ is going gangbusters as you can see here. Um, and look, Russell is kind of still in the sideways. When the market goes up like this, typically your call side gets tested. Uh, so that's why you've got to be careful. Look, uh, in SPX, most probably some of your calls may be tested if you have an iron condor or even a call spread that you sold. Same story in NASDAQ. NASDAQ also your call spread you know, will be tested because it's going up very quickly. So with that, let's uh, take a look at how to roll, when to roll, and what the benefit of rolling. So with that, let's uh, jump in and get started. So before we go into too much details, I will quickly open up a quick uh, a representation of an iron condor here. Look, we got an iron condor here, and the stock price is at $100, as you can see here. Right now, stock price is 100, and you sold a iron condor, meaning you sold a put spread below the current stock price, Somewhere here, you sold a short put here, and you bought a put right here, and you sold a call spread at the, the top. This is your short strike, where you sold a call, and this is where you bought the call. Because you sold the iron condor, you collected a premium. Look, uh, off late when the stock price goes up, your short call strike will be breached, as you can see here. That's when uh, you gotta be careful. And when a market drops off big time, your short put might be breached. So that's when you got to do some uh, research um, and you got to roll your positions. So you might ask, hey, um, you know, when to roll and what, what is roll especially? So we'll go into a few more details. So let's jump in here and look at, um, you know, when to roll and how to roll. So you might wonder what is rolling? So look, uh, when your put or call gets tested here, um, you know, you, as we saw in the iron condor side, or even a strangle or a call spread, your put side or call side of your trade uh, may be approached by the underlying stock price, meaning your stock price will reach your short call or a short put. Um, so that's when you got to be rolling your untested side. You're going to think of some platform and look at the rolling examples. So when you when you're rolling, you're you're basically closing out the side of the short premium uh, that is not being breached um, by the underlying and reopen a similar position. So in the example that we saw earlier, if I go back here very quickly, um, you know, let's go back very quickly here. So if you see this example here, if your short call is being breached uh, here. Then you got to be um, moving your put option here. Right now, put option is right here. You could bring this whole put spread, move it up somewhere here. So that's what you do here. And by doing it, you're collecting the credit. It's a very good strategy. Um, it's always uh, good to do this 21 days before expiration so that you get some good money by moving this up. So with that, let's uh, go into the detail. All right, so we are right here. Um, so you might ask, hey, why to roll? So by rolling the uh, untested uh, uh, position uh, and opening a similar position closer to the underlying, uh, generally you collect a credit. So that's why we do the rolling. And also you lower your net delta exposure. The moment you lower your net delta exposure, um, you'll be basically getting rid of your all uh, outlier risks here because you're delta neutral on the position. And you know, by rolling, you're also you know, taking a wider spread and making it a narrow spread. The result is really lower probability of making profit based on the original trade. But uh, you know, you it will give you opportunity to reduce your loss, or even break even, or even to make some profit. It's always a good practice to roll the unsighted test. Uns untested side before the stock price breaches. So you don't wait till stock price breaches your um, un uh, tested side 
you take some uh, precaution, do it even uh, slightly earlier. My recommendation is really to manage and roll uh, around 21 days to expiration. If you sold a 45 delta iron condor, uh, sorry, if you sold a 16 delta iron condor, 45 days to expiration, you don't do the rolling and, and managing around 21 days to expiration. That's the uh, good practice. All right, let's uh, jump in here and look at uh, rich back testing done by Tasty Live. Um, and you can uh, take advantage of all the great work Tasty Live has been doing. Look, Tasty Live has done a good research here. They looked at uh, 17 years of back testing from 2005 to 2022. And they looked at uh, Delta 16 strangles, 45 days to exp expiration. And this result includes only tested trades, not all the winning trades, because we want to focus on the tested trades. So with that, look, by, by looking at all the uh, 16 Delta strangles, um, you know, whenever, whenever you saw at least one breach through a 45 day cycle, that's your 45 days to expiration, um, you know, generally knowing when to use a different a defensive tactic like rolling will always help. And rolling a trade gives you better break even um, than closing the trade right away or holding on to it without with no action. And rolling the uns unsided test will reduce your delta exposure and also any outlier risk. Um, and you know you you'll lose your ability to make max profit based on the original trade. But it's always a good uh, because on the average doing nothing is uh, not not good. So with that, look, there is a result here by rolling. Uh, you know, in this case, it's a SPY uh, from 2015 to 2022, Delta 16 strangles. So if your, call, if your call side is tested, then you roll your put side. By doing that, look, uh, if you just sold it when it's tested, your win rate is 32%. But if you continue to hold till expiration, your win rate is 58%. Because sometimes, you know, stocks will uh, readjust uh, themselves, even though your call side got tested. Maybe, you know, it will come down slightly. That will give you advantage in this scenario. It went from 32% to 58% when you keep it till, uh, when you hold it till expiration. But if you rolled, if you, you, had a, you, you originally had a strangle, now you roll your put side, the same strike as call side, make it straddle. Then look, your uh, win rate improve from 58% to 65%. That's a great one. Also, average PL perspective look, if you exited right away, your win, your uh, average PL is minus $80. You lost $80. If you continue to hold, you lost $55. By rolling this into a straddle, Look, you you just lost five dollars, which is uh, not a bad bad idea. And you know this is uh, of course with the example of uh, straddles, uh, uh, the example of uh, strangle. But iron condor is something similar. You may not have too much uh, uh, too much uh, uh, average PNL could be a little bit lower, but result is something similar. So with that, now I will take you back to Thinkorswim platform. Uh, by 3D Ameritrade and show one of my example here, my trade, so you can understand. Look, I got a few iron condors here, as you can see here. I got uh, NDX, which is a NASDAQ 100 futures, and I got SPX and Tesla. Look, in the NDX, because NDX has been uh, going up, especially NASDAQ 100 is going up crazily. Look, I got one of my iron condor here, it got tested. Look, I got a call here of 14.75 and 14, uh, 14.100.25, 25, 25 uh, um, uh, uh, the, the width is 25 here, and I got a put side here. By looking at NASDAQ 100, it's at uh, 138.03 here right now, and it will soon, it can breach my call side. That's why on the call side, there's a risk of being breached. Look, next week, uh, there could be some uh, debt ceiling type discussion going on, but I will not be waiting the, till that time. 
I got here my put here, uh, 12100175. I'll be looking to roll this put um, on Monday. So that way um, I, I basically uh, increase my chance of becoming profitable. Look, I still have 25 days to expiration, but I don't, I will not wait till last minute because last minute, if you wait till last minute by rolling this up, you'll not make too much money. That's why it's always good to uh, manage your trade 21 days to expiration. So now let's go into this here. So we got this uh, NDX, let's see here. Look, other two trades here right now, they are, um, you know, they are not breached yet, as you can see here. I got a $56 profit. And the last one is I got $140 profit. But I will be, you know, looking at uh, even moving up the put side and, uh, you know, just rolling it up to make my profitability picture even look better. All right, let's look at uh, this NDX trade here. And um, let's see what we can do here. Keep watch on the call here, 1075. Now that's my short call, 14075. Let's go to trade tab here. And uh, let's go into, not this one, it's a 16th uh, right here. And let's look at my short call here. All right, let's keep going down here. Let's go to NDX. Let's give it a minute. All right, so we got our NDX here. Let me scan to keep going down, down, down. All high delta right now. Look, we got right here the call spread. Um, this call spread here is, uh, you know, not come quite bridged yet. Long delta is 36 here. Uh, this might get bridged. So what I'll be doing is I'll be going to my put side here. Look, I got um, all this put side. I got to go all the way down here. Look, I got some put here. Look, I got this put here, 1175 and 1800, this put spread here. I could uh, move this put spread right now. Look, it's at Delta three. <laughs> so, you know, it's an untested side as you call it. So I want, I can move this all the way from Delta three to say Delta, at least Delta 10. So that way, you know, I'm in a good shape here and I can get some good money here. So normally when it's a 25 days out, you don't want to be super aggressive to move to Delta 30 or something. I would stay on Delta, 10, um, that's a, always a good idea. Or even Delta 15 is also okay, but I will not go uh, you know, into Delta 30 or something along those lines. So with that, let's go back to our uh, Iron Condor here. And let's, uh, you know, let's uh, look at a rolling trade here. Look, we got put here. You can click on the put, um, you know, the, basically the put side here, and you can say create the rolling order. Look, we got various options here. Iron Condor, we got, uh, you know, put right here, um, and you're uh, basically, you know, doing vertical, and you, you got a bunch of things here, vertical, you know, call and strangle. You can do a lot of things here. I'm focusing on vertical put here. Look, we got a vertical put, and we are basically rolling this one here. Let's uh, look at uh, the vertical put here, and uh, go from there. Look, we got various things going on here. This is selling, and we got selling combo, various things here. We'll basically roll this trade here and look at uh, rolling. So let's look at rolling trade here. And look, we got uh, call here. I will not be looking at call. I'll be looking at, looking at the put here. Let's just scan through here. We got by calendar, by calendar, vertical roll right here. I will be looking at this vertical roll here of uh, this uh, put, as you can see here. Let's uh, click on this here, and uh, oops, it went into this here. Let's go right here, and go to trade tab again, monitor tab. Let's look at uh, actually um, creating a rolling position here, create rolling, and sell vertical. All right, let's look at sell vertical here. And go from look, we got our position right here. So what this is doing is, um, look, we got 16, and it's uh, basically going into 22nd. I will not be doing this here instead of 22nd here. I will change this to 16 again here. I want to basically roll into the same time frame here. I'll go all the way back here, 21 June. 
let's uh, look at 16th June, that's our time frame here. There we go, 16th of June. So what we'll do is, uh, you know, if you go back here, look Delta 10 is around uh, 12700. And you can even go up slightly here, look at uh, a place where there is a nice uh, opening test here. You could go right here, 12800. I think this is a good one here, you could sell right here, or you could even move slightly here, look, there's a 1300. 1300 is also okay here. Let's uh, go into Delta 15 here, 1300. So we'll sell at 1300 here, uh, selling the put instead of 12100. We could all the way go down here, 1300. All right, so we got a 1300 right here that's selling and buying back perspective will basically buy back. Uh, um, at 12975. So um, that's our uh, protective buying back or wins here, 12975. I can go here, 12975. It's going down. There you go. So by doing this, look, we are getting a, about uh, $190 credit here. Um, which, is a, which is a good idea. You are basically, you know, reducing the reducing the uh, risk here. You are basically um, pulling your uh, put up, as you talked about. You know, we are all the way at uh, delta. Look, we are at here delta three. We are going from delta three all the way to delta uh, twenty or so, or uh, fifteen. It's always a good idea. Uh, you could uh, do this. You know, I know some super aggressive players will also you know go further. Um, but you know it's it's good to uh, really go step by step here. I would uh, you know get this uh, delta. Uh, I would get this uh, one hundred ninety dollar credit here and uh, go from there. So you could confirm and send this here. Look, we are getting one hundred ninety dollars here. It's always a good uh, idea. So effectively, what you're doing is you are moving your untested side. Look, you are not uh, giving up your buying power here. You're using the same buying power. That's why buying power is zero here. It's a good idea. This is how you roll the trade. Um, so, you know, I, I wish this helps. And, you know, you know, if you're still, uh, you know, not making money with this, you could, uh, you know, once you do this one here, you know, maybe in a day or two, you could uh, roll the entire position, you know, from 16th of June uh, to a later time frame. You know, maybe the next monthly expiration. As you do it, if you're doing that, I would recommend you to change your, uh, you know, the call side here. Instead of, uh, you know, on the call side, I would, uh, you know, go, uh, you know, go a couple of levels ahead. Right now, our call is at here, Delta 36 here. If you're rolling the call side to a later month here, you can go into Delta, say, I'll go Delta 10 or something along those lines. Because right now market is going up, it's always good to you know uh, go into delta ten type uh, area here when you're rolling into the next month. So that's how you roll. Hope this helps. Uh, thank you so much. Um, uh, please subscribe.